everybody, it is Demon here. Thank you for tuning in to the DemonCast.com. <laughs> Remnants of Cert, uh, The Song and the Sword, Chapter 10. Hi, guys. What hey. level, what level, you're, you're level 8 now, aren't you? Yep. Yes. I'm, I'm level 10. I leveled up another time. Oh. Oh, man. I'm way behind you. Yes, you are. Um, uh, we're not letting you level up because it takes you forever. No, I'm so sorry. Skills and spells. Um... So there's a big thing going out that a book was stolen from the museum. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And um, Gowern kind of wipes off his handprints and fingerprints off of it, hands it back to Green. <laughs> <laughs> the criminal getaway is a little gnome guy with lots of big magics. Mm. <clears throat> um, I know magic. You do know some magics. So, a month passes. And uh, you have your next meeting with the council people. You arrive. Um, you go to take your seat. You s- Rue is there. Ryu? Ryu is there. And um, the speaker is trying to explain to her that she has to be voted in by her people and not appointed by her emperor. And she's arguing, like, but the Emperor will just say, hey, vote for this person, and I still end up here. And, like, they're arguing. Le Hon-Hon? Oh, I'm sorry, that was my French. Yeah, that was French. <laughs> <laughs> Try more Russian! <laughs> I, I can't do Russian, not without sounding incredibly racist and in, insensitive. Uh, well, that's my goal, is to sound... Racist and sensitive because they're not actually Russian. Look, another one. Wow, you are racist and sensitive. Um, um, racist? Uh, I'm going to be racist to white people. You're going to be racist to white people? Yep. How dare you? See? Well, that makes you a very white, racist, asshole, T. Racist. Yes. Race. Racism! I hate myself. Yes. Your self loathing. What, what, what I hate, at least in this game, there's actually racism because there's actually different races. Mm. What I hate is calling different ethnic groups a different race. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens are different races. Yes. Blacks and whites are different ethnic groups. They're still human. I know. And that's still just a weak line of, I don't know. Yeah. You're weak. What? What? I don't know. I got caffeine in me now. I'm kind of jittery. <laughs> anyway, um, people start entering in the council chamber. Stuff you'll remember is kind of like a fanned out amphitheater with the thing, and people have different desks. And there's finally somebody in the fire aisle's desk. Yay. <laughs> um. <laughs> you wasted it. The meeting starts. You were supposed to be first. And he looks at you. And he looks up at you. And says, um... I'm sorry to inform you that... And then the doors burst open. And walks a... Large man. Fire. Okay. We're kind of broadish man. He's only 5 foot 8 in height. Short black hair. Pale skin. Um, fine regal attire, um, sort of his side, very perturbed look on his face. He seems rather annoyed. And uh, he walks in and he says, Never have I been so insulted. And um, the speaker looks and says, Mr. Hawthorne, I told you that you must... I cannot read my own writing. Mr. Hawthorne, I told you that you must disarm before entering and wait your turn. And um, as this happens, several Republic guards, swords, spears, shields, whole works, rush into this thing and they take up kind of stance against, like on either side of the desk, whatnot, kind of facing in towards this person. Um... So, speaker's not happy to have armed people in the 
chamber person. And this, uh, Mr. Hothar, he says, Now you point weapons at me. How long do you expect me to wait? I've been sitting around in your pathetic excuse for a capital for three days. And he looks around at the, uh, the counselors, Siebold and half the girls and the dwarf, and he laughs. <laughs> These are your leaders. Half of them are women, the other are lesser demi-humans. I love, oh, the, I love the look on your I ready face. action. You ready an action? Okay. <clears throat> um, well, the door from the Morden Rain kind of starts, Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I can't read that. Hawthorne points. Hawthorne points. Not have them. I, God, my writing's terrible. <laughs> um, so Hawthorne points to the speaker and says, Oh, shit. No, he does not say, oh, shit. I forgot to fill in the blank. Okay, blank's filled. Yeah, Hawthorne points at the speaker and says, I came all the way from Amaliria to give you a choice. Pay 50 pounds of gold a year in tribute, or your country will be invaded. You hear a lot of gasps, and um, you probably hear Ryu snort. Yeah. She rolls her eyes. I didn't want that. Was tired of subjecting the central continent, or did you get a new king? Um, Hawthorne grits his teeth. He kind of jabs at the speaker. He says, How dare you let a woman speak to me in court? Women should know their place. Hundred pounds of gold or invasion. Wait, he suddenly went Russian. Fuck. <laughs> um, Ryu, again... Your navy is shit. They want to make it past fire aisles. <laughs> it's like, Miss Calaith, please. Mr. Mr. Hawthorne, is your entire purpose here to issue hollow threats? Hawthorne says, 150 pounds of gold or invasion. He turns and starts to walk out, but he likes to slow down as he turns his head to Rue and says, the head of your pretty dragon would go nicely in the throne room. Oh, I so wanted to cast go on. And Ryu's like, I look forward to meeting you on the battlefield. <laughs> so, this guy walks out. The Elias guards, or the Republic guards, kind of give a glance at the speaker, and he kind of like dismisses them, and they all start filing out. And um, he you know, sits down in his chair. He puts a hand to his temple. Um, he was like, you know, he is serious about invasion. They like to do this sort of thing. He's like, Miss Calaith, could you please be quiet for a moment? Um, you too. We have no new information about... Um, certs. You, you, you just go. Exit. Right. And that is what I have for um, exposition. <clears throat> uh, for this moment. Actually, this is what I've written down. So it's all the script. <laughs> so these people are locked in this room for quite a while. Um, you can go do something around town. Something that's fine. You can go hang out at uh, Seabold's place now that people aren't afraid of ghosts. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Okay, great. Now it's like my head. Um, well, there's something going down. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. So, a little bit later, Ryu comes to speak to you. Oh, because she hasn't seen you in a while. Hey. It's like you're the heroes of the fire. I do a twirl and... How are you? Everything's great. You do a twirl and yeah. whatnot. Um, the Plekin? Plekin? Is that what the cow... But they're carrying the case and there's a person sitting in the case. Okay. That comes across. And um, it is the same person that interrupted the thing. And there's an exchange of vulgar words between 
both Ryu and this guy. And he laughs and tells one of his guards to go cut her up. So, this guy draws a sword and charges Ryo. Oh, that poor sucker. <laughs> I was wondering if you're going to try to do anything. Yeah, right. So, y- you wouldn't. I wasn't going to let you mm-hmm. because this happens too quickly. Quickly. Ryu. What if we roll 20s? Go ahead, roll 20s. I, I said, what if? I know. Because you're the one person's like, okay, just try it. And you're like, I rolled a 20. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there it is. That is too quick for you to react. She pulls her sword. He's kind of coming down with his. She just kind of like moves out of the way, turns, and her... They get this Bangma Forge steel stuff, which is pretty much on par with not perfectly crafted adamantite or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And she goes right through him. Oh. <laughs> and there's a spray of blood that makes it all the way to this guy's placken. And he's got this look of horror as his guard person falls into two pieces. And he's go, 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 go. And, and his placken takes off. And Rue's like, one of these is going to be a mess. Do I have to clean this up, or does somebody else do it? Uh, press the digitation? <laughs> you clean up some blood. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make your body go away. No. Um, anyway, the, uh, the dwarf guy, um, <clears throat> we, were, we were talking about these people, because, um, they're not, they're not the good people. Um, Gleed uh, would like to speak to you at his place up in the um, his sector, and she'll kind of give you directions, but be like, "Wait, I'll draw you a map." Oh. <laughs> no, ask Seabold. He knows where to go. <laughs> I'm completely lost in this city. <laughs> okay, we you have that. interesting food though. <laughs> That's Ryu or Kai. Um. <laughs> So there, you have an interview with a dwarf. Okay. Go to the dwarf. All right. Um, essentially, he wants you to deliver a message to the king in the northern range. Um, Ryu talks highly about you. Mm. Um, and this is something that he should bring himself, but he kind of has to stay here and talk politics Ooh. and he doesn't trust anybody or he doesn't trust the average couriers to deliver this message so he will pay you 100 gold each to deliver this safely in the king to the king okay mission accepted what let's go yeah, alright mission accepted and off you head no more exposition. Can I use a teleporter? Uh, yes. Roll me an Arcana check. <laughs> 17 plus 10. Mister, I can take 20. <laughs> Alright. You so already used it for today, though. No, this this takes today. quite a while. So, okay. Water's Meat is here in the river. You have to take a barge down the river to the mouth. And go all the way around up here to Granite. Um, so it is going to be several weeks, month and a half I journey. Read books. Yes, you read books. But you're illiterate now. Yeah, remember? What? You're going to stop reading? Oh, right. <laughs> that. God. So let's talk about Hook Coast. Uh, nice little town. Hmm. Let's talk about the ambush that happens right after Hook Coast. Okay. This is where I get the battle map out. <laughs> Alright. So, um, you should all roll perception checks. Because okay. these people are ambushed. I, I got a five right there. No, wait, that's one day. 
22. 21, I mean. 15. Okay, yeah. This would be lowest thing because. Thing. I need a pencil. So, um, you guys do notice these people up to the side of the road. Um, where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> I really need to, like, get, like, a hooks and just, like, lay that out so it stretches out properly so I don't get these folds in it. A nice big flat table. I should put some books on it. Yeah, I should probably do that. We'll put these guys over here. Um, trying to fit in What are you doing? Don't cast fireball. You're going to hit me. Where's his minion at? I'm assuming that the minions <laughs> stay out of the radius for a moment. <laughs> this is, you can like, fireball! You're just going to be like Lena Inverse, like, start casting... Fireball! Uh, start casting the uh, Dragon Slave while I'm still standing in the way. I'm like, hey! Just run out of the way. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... We'll move him back one. So that's not a run up to you. Alrighty, um, so let's all do the initiatives rolling. Okay. Yeah. Initiative, mine is 24. 14. 14 for Marine. Alright, oh, I'm ready, my stroll. Um. What? Sorry. Uh, you're traveling down this this path here and you know this is an ambush so they're trying to get the sneak attack on you but it's really hard to like keep the minotaur hidden so um yeah there's a big black bull man over there hmm. and the faces on some of the guys next to him are like <laughs> Yeah, face bomb type thing. Um, Garen, this is clearly an ambush. These people are clearly hostile. There's four of them. Three humans and a big-ass minotaur. Big-ass minotaur has a big-ass axe. Um, there's a guy in robes. So, magey looking guy. There's a guy with a mace. He looks kind of like a mercenary type person. And there's a guy in the background with a bow. Ah, Okay. Um, you are first because your initiative was awesome. Yeah, I don't want to be first. <laughs> what should I do? Moraine. Um, give Moraine, me, pie. Give me the, uh, just, uh, go into a defensive. What do you got, what do you got planned up? Um, charm monster. <laughs> <laughs> Is a minotaur a monster? I would think so. You're like gonna click on the vampire game. Like, yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just start playing the vampire game. You're like, yeah, forget you guys. I'm gonna do this. A minotaur. Touch. Um, monstrous humanoid. So, although minotaurs are not especially intelligent, they possess innate cunning and logical ability. This gives them immunity to maze spells and prevents them from ever becoming lost. Further, they can never be caught flat-footed. Oh. Just like um, Flynn. I actually had him set up so you could do combat with him. Okay. I find it interesting that we think of Minotaur in the maze and they're immune to maze spells. <laughs> so, I guess... He's a monstrous humanoid, so that's so. monster in the word. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're going to hold your turn? Or you're going to defensive stance? No, essentially, it's just... Wait a second. Some marine can cast charm monster or attempt to charm monster. And then... Is that how it works? Where I'll like back my turn up into... Well, you can drop your turn... To behind Moraine, or you can say I'm fighting defensively or something. I guess, or or ready an attack. So if he charges, you could also just be like, "Ha ha! Charge him to my sword!" 
bowl? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I have my sword out, though. Okay, so you ready in attack. But they all are. Uh, it is Green's turn. Who should Green shoot? One, two, three. He's going to shoot Garen. And he's going to miss. Ooh, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, 16 versus AC. Easy miss. Yes. Easy miss. Okay. An arrow flies off at Garen and whizzes past. It is now Black's turn. He's in the... Bull rush, or he's gonna rush the the big guy. Wait, the big guy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. It's not all bad. <laughs> he's gonna pull out his axe, take a few steps forward, and snort. <laughs> he's too far away to charge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know what he gets on a charge? Probably a lot. This is disgusting. <laughs> and, and, and you better, you better hurry up there. Uh huh. Yeah, uh-huh. I should yes, check yes, and yes. see if we can move faster. Um, it is Moraine's turn. Okay, I cast Charm Monster. It is DC 17. That's for one day a level. Will? Um, will yes. Come on. One 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 one. Um, his will saves a five. That's a fifteen. Seventeen. Yes. So what does this do? Um, it affects like a charm person. So uh, regard you as a trusted friend and ally. Um, the treat the target's attitude as friendly. The creature is currently being threatened or attacked by you or your allies. However, it receives a plus five bonus on saving throws. We weren't attacking it. So, luckily it doesn't get it for plus five. Um, doesn't it, does not enable you to control the charm person, but it perceives your words and actions in the most favorable, favorable way. You can try and give him orders, uh, but you must win an opposed charisma check to convince it to do anything it wouldn't do ordinarily. So, okay. If I told it to knit, it probably wouldn't do that, because it probably wouldn't. Okay, wouldn't so that. it's thinking that... You friend. Yes. What about him? Oh, I just tell it that he's he's friend too. Don't attack him. Attack them. <laughs> but he's friend. <laughs> but you'd have to win the charisma check on that um, one, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess that's if he wouldn't normally attack, but... He's a um, thirsty horned beast man. An effective That's creature, racist. <laughs> effective creature never obeys suicidal or obviously harmful orders, but it might be convinced that something very dangerous is worth doing. Um, uh, any act by you or your apparent allies that threatens the charmed person breaks the spell. Um, you must speak the person's language. Okay. Hmm. Communicate your commands or be good at pantomiming. Okay. But that and that's charm person. So I don't know if it charm monster does it work? Does it have? Well, it common? says it works like charm person, right? Yeah, and he basically is a person. Okay. I just let you do it because it says a monstrous humanoid. Okay. Well, I have charm person also. Okay. Well. <laughs> either way, your big monstrous thing is now our buddy. It perceives me as a friend. Perceives him as a friend. Yeah, and I can just say, you know, this guy's friend too. Don't attack him. And then so, you forget to say that your minion's a friend and attack. Him. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, but thank you for reminding him. Damn it. <laughs> Could be too late, but yeah. you know, um, it is White's turn. Okay. Um, everybody rolls a reflex saving throw as a giant ball of fire gets hurled your way. Damn it. 
two, three, four, five. Oh, that's that's nice knowing you. <laughs> I got a ten. <laughs> um, you get a ten total. Yeah. Uh, reflex, you said. Uh, thirteen. Twenty-three. Okay, so we're gonna add this. Um, that's a four. So nine plus four, got eight. Um, this is fire damage. This is a fireball. So, what is your damage resistance to fire? Six. Okay. So, 21 minus 6. So that's 15 damage for you. Ouch. Um, Moraine. Yes. What is your fire resistance? 10. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, Plus I saved. Yeah, because you save, you get half damage, and half damage happens to be 10. How'd you get 10? I have the Bracer's... Let's see... Amulet of Fire Resist. Oh. And the Bracer's of Fire Resist. Oh. I forgot about them. I had to choose between Bracer's of Fire and Archery. Yeah. So what are you wearing? Bracer's of Archery. So I only have five. Okay, so you take five points of damage. I'll change this. Two, five. So much for the big attack. You know he's launched another one at us. Uh, yeah, I'm only doing one fireball per counter. Well, it does, yeah. Blue. Oh, yeah. Binion dies. Oh. <laughs> you don't even have him rolled? It's safe for half damage. <laughs> oh, wait. Minions don't... Min... Never mind. Minions, fine. Never forget. Um, if they save, they don't take damage. Um, um. Reflex, or okay, because he's a rogue. Uh, no, because he's a minion. Okay. That might be a 4th edition rule or something, but mm. it's a good rule. So. Um, Spec of Garant's... Wait. Blue. No, it's Blue's turn. Uh, one, two... Right now he's all like... Because... Like he, he can't walk that far. <laughs> you didn't get all the way into the ambush zone before being like, oh, there's people. Um, Garon, it is your turn. So I should just attack the other guys? No, don't attack the Minotaur. Well, obviously. As long as you don't attack him, you won't. So, um, but then the question is, is the Minotaur going to... Um, is the Minotaur going to... Uh, defend... Them. Unless you tell them that they're not friends. I could do that, yeah. In the end, we might have a replacement for Minion. (laughs) (laughs) This is not going as according to plan. I take the leadership. This was my tank. (laughs) Okay. Alright, well, um... The... Okay, so I guess that's up to you... Um, he does 3d6 damage on a hit. Oh god. I know. Then he gets two hits. Well, that's up to you. I mean, uh, don't attack the Mentor, but uh, just <laughs> don't die. Well, I don't know what do you. If I attack, then Davis is going to be like, yeah, you attack his friends. He's for spell broken. At the moment, I'm not sure. Um, we'll decide what happens at his turn. His turn, we'd be like, why are you fighting? <laughs> oh. Okay. Take them out. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Woo. I'm gonna attack. Alright. Attack at a mage. That would be a 21. Uh, that hits. Uh, 
would be 21 again. Because 12 plus 9 is... Yeah, that's 21. 21 damage. I'm not going to do it... Well, yeah, I guess I'll do fire damage as well. I don't got a D4, though. D4. 2D4, actually. You don't got 2D4. Here, use Marine. <laughs> Five damage with that, so... So that's uh, 26. <laughs> <laughs> that's my first attack. He's bloody. My second attack. Is that uh, a full round action? You can, yeah. can you move at that? No, because you have to move and then attack. And oh, get okay. all of your attacks, you have to have a full round action. Yeah, that's okay. something I had wrong last time. Um, not a bad hit. Um, Green's turn. Arrow to Garen. Um, it's a 17 versus AC. Nope. One point higher than he shot last time. It is now Black's turn. I'm supposed to hit him, right? <laughs> so this is where I'm going to give Moraine the... What is it to tell them something? Okay, so it's an opposed charisma check. Opposed charisma check against the dumb... Yeah. <laughs> I have a plus four to charisma. Okay. Um, you should tell him not to attack Garen. That's the idea, yes. Instead, I want him to come over to me and listen to my wonderful songs. Okay. So, you're going to tell him that now. Okay. I will do that. Um, Fifteen. And he's rolling versus charisma? Yep. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I understand he's confused. Mm hmm. Because I have to do it. He's gonna gore minion. Oh god! Well, I guess I didn't tell him to, uh. No, you didn't. <laughs> because you specifically pointed out he's friend, but. He's not friend. Yeah. The effects same in the middle. <laughs> um, because this goes off of your AC, does a 20. Four, hit your AC. Oh, well, of course not. Uh, yeah. Yes, it actually does. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It hits. Um, minion gets gored. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is only two d six plus six. <laughs> That's your dice, right? Yep, it is. Thank you. Goodbye, minion number five. Hello, Minotaur. I will sing you a beautiful little song. And I'm going to change dice. What is this Minotaur's name? Um. Joe. Joe. My name's Joe. George. George. I like Joe. Joe. I specifically stayed away from George because George. George who? Never mind. Uh, he, he, he might. And I would pet him and meet him and, and George. Um, okay. Moraine, it is your turn. Okay. You have a giant minotaur next to you. I tell the minotaur that uh, he should sit down and listen to my song. Okay. Because all make... those other men are going to be doing this. You should do charisma check stuff again. Okay. I'll try again. Eight. Uh, six. Okay. So. I guess he sits down and starts listening to your song. I, uh, I start performing a Bardic song. Number five. Inspire courage. A little bit of courage in your <laughs> life. Exactly. <laughs> um, let me make sure. So if the Minotaur is a trusted friend and ally, does that mean he also gets the bonus? Yes. Um, more of a plus one on saving throws against charm, fear, and uh, plus one. Actually, now it's a plus two on attacks and damage. (laughs) 
Um, <laughs> and they say bards are useless. <laughs> the mage guy. He'll take a five foot step back and use his biggest thing he's got. Um, reflex saving throw. Six. It's okay. Fourteen. Plus two. Sixteen. Oh. Okay, well, you save your reflex saving throw. You still take half damage. Well, there's a lot of threes. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. So that's ten lightning damage. So fifty points. What? Yeah. Oh, God. Wow. Well, you can just uh, wipe them up. You get low on hit points, get near me. I'm keeping this thing happy. <laughs> <laughs> Halfling girl, funny. <laughs> okay, um. Blue's turn. Who's gonna attack you? With his mace. Um. 20 versus AC. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Mace does. That is not. 1d8. <laughs> 7 damage. Okay. Um, Garen's turn. Alright, I'm going to attack the Macy boy. Okay. Since that rolled off, can I get a re-roll? Yeah. That's better. Uh, plus to hit, that's 13, so that's 26. Plus 2. 28. <laughs> uh, 28 to hit? Yeah, yeah that hits. <laughs> Roll for damage. Yeah, give me some damage. Uh, I'm gonna... Come on, fingers. Fire damage plus my sword damage. So that is 5 plus 9, that's 14, plus 2, plus 2, 16, plus, so it's 20, 20 damage. He's bloody. Attack number 2, I'm right next to him. Yes you are, and you can do that. Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's 16. Plus 2? That's yeah. going to hit. Mages. My way. So 9 plus 9, 18. 25. 27. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Bard. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna kill him. <laughs> but he was dead. Yeah, I like fighters. <laughs> and now I have a Minotaur too. <laughs> okay, For um. Eight days. <laughs> then you can try to charm him again for another eight days. That was Garen's turn. It is Green's turn. Green is going to. Let's see. What was his name? Joe. Joe, what the hell are you doing? Um, <laughs> is he attacking somebody? Yeah, he's attacking you with an arrow that is a. I just gave it. It's the same number as last time. Um, 17 versus AC. Nope. Okay. Um, he's like. Next turn, he's going to say, um,. Ooh, I'm listening to the song. <laughs> Moraine. I take a five foot step. So that, uh, maybe like that. So Gowron stays within my field of, okay. you know, song singing this. Sight. And I continue to play. All right. Uh, White's turn. This is versus your your touch thing. 
Um, he crit fails. So, um... <laughs> Garrett, it's your turn. <laughs> gonna walk up. Attack. Oh. Do your full attack action again. No, he had to move. Yeah, and move. That's feet. a five-foot step. Oh, he can do a five-foot step? Yeah. Okay. Five-foot step is a free Well, action. that hits him. That's a 30? Yeah, and... <laughs> 32? <laughs> there, there's no way to not kill him with your mod fire. <laughs> okay. And his four health left. Um, that makes it Green's turn. He's going to take off running. In which case, a ball of flames comes down and hits him. And he incinerates from, like, over here. Oh. Up on a rock. Okay. I guess that's the end of combat. Oh. <laughs> um. I got the mito. I got the mito. I got the mito. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, up on a rock. One held out, and uh, there is a. Roguish looking character. This is another halfling. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Um, I forget how tall I get it written down. I Similar book here. Um, she. Oh. Black hair. Mm hmm. Um, tight leather armor type thing. Has yes. a rapier. What? Has a rapier. Rapier. Okay. Yeah. A rapier. Um,. It will take you a second to, like, hey, this person's kind of familiar looking, and you got that thing in your head that says, hey, let me in. Oh. Oh. Um. Can we pause for a second? Yeah, we can pause for a second. I need to actually. So, I'm slightly confused. <laughs> Here's Billy, here to join you in your quest to go do stuff. And now you have Minotaur. And I chose Minotaur because I was like, what's a, what's a good, um, how big is, I just like, oh, okay, I need some stats. And I looked at the Minotaur, I'm like, oh, this is awesome, let's just keep him around. And I, instead of being a human with really good stats, he, be, he just stayed a Minotaur. <laughs> And now you have a fucking Minotaur. <laughs> Don't sound so excited. The frustrations of the DM. Yeah. Um. So Belili's like, "Hi, how are you? Um, I missed you." No. <clears throat> I give her a hug. Ah. There's hugs. Um. Yep. <laughs> this is my friend. His name is Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> Come in. Joe. Okay. Um. It's spelled like, like D-J-O-W-E. The Joe. You. <laughs> the D is silent. <laughs> Django. Okay, um... You head north towards Granite. Yeah. And, uh, you have in tow a familiar person. Um, a little... Not a tiefling, not a succubus, not a human person. A little succubus tail. Mm -hmm. That's kind of it. Um, speaks in your head. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And this great big lumbering Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I performed for them. You rolled a 15. I know that's going to be like a 45. <laughs> well, it's getting close, but... Um, 29. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, you're up in the mountains now. And the higher you go, the colder it gets and the thinner the air. And as you ascend, um, it gets really rigid, and we're going to do a survival check. 
Maybe Joe should roll. Survival seems like something Joe would have. <laughs> Fourteen. I have no survival. So, oh god. Six. Okay. And uh, Bilili's not from this plane. Um, you're not familiar with this area. It's weird that it's so cold. Yeah. And so, take a couple hours later, you did not bunker down when the blizzard hit. You should all roll fortitude saving throws. Uh, okay. And I... Oh, fail. Inspire courage. <laughs> well. Yep. It's five. Twelve. Joe's cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you're in the middle of a blizzard. It's really hard to see. What do you do? Man, I really should have taken a tiny hut. We could all just go in there and be like, oh, yeah. It's a tiny nice. hut? Yeah, makes us a little... Do you think here. Joe's going to fit in a tiny hut? It can actually fit in like ten people. Oh, shit. Okay. So, But I didn't take it, so... Um... Page can. Warm, warm, warm. Daggers. I know you're supposed to be warm, but you're so I can <laughs> If you gather up some dry wood and I can cast a uh, corn of the fire or whatever flames... Okay, so you're gonna try to camp? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Build a little sh- shelter out of twigs and stuff like that, and a small fire. <laughs> Give me survival jacks. Huh? Yay, survival! Joe got a log. <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna get any. I got ten. Eleven. <laughs> and mm. and this is where it's wiped out. <laughs> The last little bit of light goes down. Moraine says, It's so cold. I'll never be warm again. Really says, Why the hell did I come back? <laughs> he says, Joe. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you're pretty much on the verge of uh, freezing. Oh. Um, you're having a very hard time keeping a fire going. Oh, there is a blizzard. Grease out. Yes, you get grease. I mean, you do have fire swords and stuff like that. So you can survive a lot longer. Um, your ability to make a shelter in this harsh environment, um, with less trees and whatnot, because you're on rocky ledges and stuff, is, um, kind of difficult. And in the distance... Coming through the snow is what appears to be a shadow of a stout feller. Is it my honey? Stout. Not, oh. not tiny. Dang. Um, taller than Rain, shorter than Gowrin. <laughs> and about as wide as Rain is tall. It's a dwarf. <laughs> Okay. Seize your attempted fire light. <laughs> what ho? What ho? What are you doing in the snow? <laughs> That's right. I'm a poet. I didn't know it. <laughs> We're freezing. You look like you're freezing. <laughs> we really are. What the hell are you doing in the mountains? Making noises. It's a good thing. I heard you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys better follow me. The city's this way. We do so. All right. Um, that's all I got. Okay. We got to end this. We're a little short on time, but not quite an hour. <laughs> Hi. Hey. How are you guys? Pretty good. Happy that I have a Minotaur. I'm and confused that you have a Minotaur. I'm not sure how you're going to control him. Wait a second. We made camp, right? Does Minion show up again? Or oh, did he freeze on the way up? <laughs> <laughs> on the way back down, you see a, a slightly frozen Minion. 
<laughs> like icicles hanging out of them. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say no. Oh. <laughs> Though I'm tempted to cross out Minion 6 and write in Minion 7. <laughs> Hi, I'm Minion 7. <laughs> I'm supposed to be on 6. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what I have planned for you, you can deliver your message. You're going to be through some combat type stuff, getting to Water's Meet. You're going to go into the Land of 13 Tribes. Mm. And then we're going to kind of end this. You're only going to level up one more time. Okay. And then that's going to be the end of the story. And we can put this to bed. Um, as much as I love this story, most of the stuff I had planned up was up to the fire aisles. And after that, it just kind of went... However, I think all the nice little ending stuffs are going to throw you for a couple loops. Uh-oh. That'll be fun. Ah, is it like a fruit loop? Or a hula hoop. Hmm. How about a sand hoop? A sandy... made of fried halfling. I call this meeting to an end. (laughs) There's little fried halflings. Where are the halflings? Oh, they eat them. (laughs) Um... Yeah, okay. so it kind of petered out on this one. But I didn't really know what I was doing from the point of Fire Isles to Granite. I know where you're going from Granite. So hopefully game stuff should pick up a little bit better. Um, you get to meet Elman Nazir again. He was supposed to be a more reoccurring character than he is currently, but whatever. What about Flynn? Does he come back for a recurring character? Probably not. Um, if he got away from Lorraine, you would have met him in Hook Coast. But I guess he didn't get away from her. <laughs> yeah. It was fun because it was it was fun making Flynn's stats because it's stuff like Everyone is flat-footed compared to Flynn. Oh, my God. But he did, like, one damage. He's like, ah! I, like, he always hits you, but he does one damage. Sounds like a halfling. Yeah. So that would have been an awesome combat thing had we done that. But you're just like, no, fascinate! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then... And then they go off somewhere and do nasty, nasty things to each other. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. terrible. Yep. You are horrible people. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. It's about that time I gotta start thinking about getting my wife anyway. I hope everybody had fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.